girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my least favorite book genre of all time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Old English. You know, Old English, like Shakespeare. That's one of my least favorite book genres of all time because I don't understand it, really, like, at all. Like, I remember the first English book, what, uh, old English book I've ever read um, was The Crucible. I think it was a book because I remember my junior year, our teacher gave us like a textbook and turned to a specific page for us to read The Crucible. And we were all per having uh, specific parts because it was kind of like a play in a way, but we still read it. We still read the thing. And then afterwards we watched the movie and and our teacher didn't give us any explanation on what the characters were saying because he thought we would be able to understand it ourselves. And uh, I didn't understand it one bit. But that all changed in uh, senior year of high school when our teacher uh, made us read Macbeth. And that is pretty popular by Shakespeare. The Crucible's not made by Shakespeare. I hope not. I don't know who, who wrote the Crucible, but Macbeth is definitely by uh, Shakespeare, and our in in my class I had to read Macbeth, and after each act of Macbeth, our teacher gave us an explanation on what the characters were saying, and I'm so thankful for my um, twelfth grade teacher for that explanation because without her explaining uh, what the what was happening during the whole story. I wouldn't understand what was going on. Like, I wouldn't really like the story. And do I still like Macbeth now? Not really. I'd probably give it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Crucible, I'd definitely give a, like a 4 out of 10, definitely. Because I just don't understand that book or movie. I watched the movie, too, in my junior year. Um, senior year, we read Macbeth. Um, our teacher explained us. Um, each parts of the characters on what they were saying. It was boring at first, in my opinion. The book was boring at first, but at the end, it was very interesting. So if you guys want are interested in old English novels or whatever, try Macbeth. It's not horrible, but it is a classic, I must say, because Shakespeare is pretty famous, after all, because who doesn't know Shakespeare? <laughs> Who, who doesn't know Shakespeare? So after that, we watch the movie of Macbeth and just get a nice little comparison between the, the book slash play and the movie. So that was a really interesting experience, uh, experience, excuse me. So would I ever want to read old English books right now? Like, as to add to my book collection? No. Hell no. I do not want to read any old English books like Romeo and Juliet or anything. I know Romeo and Juliet is popular, but I do not want to read any old English books because I don't have anyone next to me telling me what what are these people saying and stuff because this is old English and they have old English movies too like The Lighthouse and The Witch. Those are horror movies by the way and all that stuff, I just don't understand it unless I have someone next to me telling me, oh, this is what this character is saying. But no, I'm all by myself reading these books. I could ask my parents what they're saying, but I don't know if they've read any old English novels. Or my older brother, I don't know if I could ask him that. Or even my little brother, I don't even know if he knows. Oh, whatever, it is what it is, and it is my least favorite book genre, so I can't do nothing about it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and in the future, I'll make a, my favorite book genre of all time. So stay tuned to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.